And that's what inspires me. And <laughs> it's painting, painting inspires me. It's like, what inspires me but myself? No, it's, yeah, paint. I mean, I, I love looking at paintings and just the myriad ways of working with paint. And the thing, then I never know what's going to come out when I make a painting. I mean, I like to have an image so I could, that I'm inspired by. And if I, if let's say I'm working with a certain idea, which is bodies and labor, I, I do have images around. So I don't have to just like pull from my imagination in a way. I kind of work with like, oh, I'm going to do some three figures in concert. Like, let me, let me look how they're posed. And then, but I, they never really look like the pictures. They look, um, something else takes over and that's the surprise for me so that's constantly inspiring me I'm constantly fascinated by also what the response like the dialogue that happens I think that life is a series of repetitions like breathing like you're always repeating what you did before but it's also constantly new so it's a recognition of that aspect I think that I'm interested in and that you know where you've come from and you kind of know where you're going, but you want to stay in the present. Um, <laughs> so, and in these repeated actions, I, I think about ritual, I just think about daily maintenance rituals of washing, cleaning, and brushing your teeth, and really was moved by Warhol's idea of repetition too, that you, when you repeat sometimes it loses its meaning. Like if you see something so many times, it also can lose its impact. And so, in a way, on the other hand, repetition, if you have a trauma, you, re you keep repeating the trauma to kind of make it go away or in your mind, like better it. Or in dreams keep repeating, like if you're repressing something, the same dream keeps coming until you confront it. And in repetition, there's difference too. You know, like um, Ronnie Horne's photographs, a room full of sort of the same face but taken in a different pool. You know, each face is different. It's just like the recognition that there's difference, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's like seeing your lover's face. Like, how do you, how do you see it new all, all the time? Mm -hmm. But you might have seen it before. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't know, that kind of stuff moves me. I can't even describe it, but is there something about moving from one to the next and like the subtlety between two those differences, you know?